friends welcome back to my youtube channel my name is ellie and today i am back at it again with another festival vlog so the festival that i'm off to today is a little bit different to the normal heavy music festivals that i normally go to it is called vegan camp out and obviously as the name suggests all the food there is vegan so the festival runs from friday to sunday and then we're gonna go home on monday so it's three nights in total i'm really excited never been to like a food kind of festival before there are stages there where bands and artists are going to be performing and there's going to be talks from different influential vegan people from around the world so yeah really really cool really excited to be part of this like little community if you didn't know i have been vegan for the past four years now and my boyfriend barry who is always in my other youtube vlogs he has been vegan for six years we have never been to vegan camp out before but we've always seen it advertised and seen posters of it and really wanted to have a go and yeah this year is the year we're really throwing ourselves into festival season this year food festivals music festivals everything the event is in oxfordshire so not too far away from us where we are near london our car i believe is packed up now barry's been doing all the hard work whilst i've been filming this intro so thanks barry i appreciate that let's get going <laughs> dance with me <laughs> can't even see your little little dinosaur arms we got our little wristbands vegan camp out 2024 and we got given these as well tiny little um what are they called oat on bar yeah on bar oat milk chocolates it's my favorite chockies yeah to be fair it is lunchtime so i'm very hungry oh they're all melted it's, that's lovely that oh they are proper melted yeah it's because it's really hot not that this is going to fill me up for lunch or anything, but... Love it. Mm-mm. You've got a wristband on. Mm-hmm. Don't do it up too tight so you can get it off. Done. May have done it up too tight. Oh, me too. Don't go up too tight. <laughs> I can't get it off. What's wrong with us? Right, time to unpack our car and go and pitch our tent. So the car park is actually... You can see it behind me. And I'm now in the campsite. That's how close the car park is to the campsite. Amazing. Best walk to the campsite I think I've had yet at a it festival. So it took about two minutes. We crossed the road. And now we're here. Tent time. Whose bag is that right in the way of my time lapse? Toilet. Toilet. Home sweet home for another festival. Ah, hey. Whoa, it's warm. It's a warmen for sure. Brand new, cut yesterday, broken spirit top. Mm. Fresh BS I think I've done apparel. This than my last one, you know, it fits me nicer. You see, it makes mm. my arms look a bit bigger. I think. Yeah, you look like a chunky boy. A boom. God, what a massive cock I've got. What a contrast from the last video. What? You know, when you were saying you had a... Tiny? Had a tiny. Well, ego's through the roof at the minute. Especially after last night. <laughs> Didn't happen. So, our little camp is all set up and ready to go for the weekend on the way in to this festival there was no security checks or anything however i will say that i feel like this is the kind of festival where people are all very respectful and friendly and kind and aren't gonna mess around you know and be knobheads we're gonna be the most raucous yes if you didn't hear that he said we are gonna be the most raucous Raw no raucous raucous we are going on a little wander now we are gonna go and get some food get some lunch show off the crepes the crepes yeah show them off <laughs> there we go boy not for free the vibe of this festival is already very chill very friendly and nice laid back and um it's also 
dog friendly. into the actual grounds yet I think they're still setting up so we've just gone into a little it's bit behind us I think that was just for guests I, I I'm not entirely sure but yeah there's a little bit with a bar and recognize these from 2000 trees the sushi burritos first meal back. of the festival first meal of the festival I was gonna do cheers but you're tucking in already mm-hmm mm Mm -mm -mm. So good. I better love it. Than, better than you had before. Yeah, this one I have vegan chicken, avocado, and cucumber in. Oh. What did you get? I got fully loaded and asked for extra tofu. Mm. Good choice. I like that. There's a cute dog. So we're just sitting around our camp and we got some freebies, which is very cool. So if we go to this place called Vossages. Vossages. It's it's sausages but with a V at the beginning instead of an S. You get a free portion of hash browns and this place you get one gram of matcha added to your iced tea if you want it. So might check that out tomorrow morning. Oh I thought a little they was giving you like thing. a bit of matcha from like a gram. Of what it. into your hand? Well in cover a pot maybe. Here is matcha in your hand. Some... What does matcha taste like? Green. I just... Green. Spider. Spider flew past. He's enjoying vegan camp out. <clears throat> Let's have a little look see as to what's going on today. I heard there's going to be a special announcement later or something. These are like little DJ sets, I think. DJ sets, okay. So there's dubstep and just dub. Is that just where you're fucking like winning? You know what I mean? Just go in mean? there, you just go into this tent where they're playing dub and just catch Ws. Oh, I see what you mean now. It's a lot of uh, sort of dubstep yeah. jungle there's no uh rock or yeah. metal which is a little bit of a shame we'll have to walk around with our speaker going nuts though maybe that's too niche maybe more people here like yeah hippies you know, the... do hippies like dubstep is that a thing yeah <laughs> i think you just made that up we just come back to the car to grab a water bottle it took us approximately one minute Love it. The rides are on and I think the sort of village slash arena bit is open now. So we're gonna go and have a look around it. We're gonna have a shot. A shot? Yeah. Go on then. <laughs> a tiny tiny coffee shot. Tequila rose, isn't it? Yeah. It's I like, think. And it's called panther milk. It's made of oat milk. Decent. So cheers. First things first, it smells nice. What does yours taste like? Really, like you, it's just coffee. Yeah. Oh, the aftertaste is lovely. Okay. Aftertaste is Bailey's. Oh, the aftertaste is just like strawberry milk. <laughs> we are currently sitting in this little place. It's so cozy. There's fairy lights up. There's a foosball table and a cornhole oh, yeah, there's place. Foosball. Yeah, foosball there. It's called cornhole, isn't it? This thing here. Wow. Should we play? Yeah. Do you have a game? Yeah, go on. Nice. <laughs> the final cornholes. Cor <laughs> yeah. Final cornholes. Corn. <laughs> cornhole score. There we go. Oh my gosh. The, yeah, that thing. The final score was eight four. I don't know. No, it's actually you had nine. Nine four. Yeah. Why is Ellie that good at throwing? Beer pong beats me every time. Now cornhole. I thought I'd be good at that. Because I, I throw like a girl. It's <laughs> true. True that, brother. Dap you up. We are going to make our way around this little village arena place and yeah, go to every shop. We want to see everything that's Open here. One. right up my alley <laughs> i think i might buy that we're just looking at this cool t-shirt stand here look at this break the chain i 
really like their stuff here. I think I might come back and maybe buy a little crop top or something. But you know what's behind you right now, Barry? Hot sauce. Hot sauce stand. Nutritional yeast, lots of lime, Cuban and coriander. What do you think? I can't really smell that one. No? It's got lots of garlic in, lots of sugar. Good. I think that might be the one. That's good. <laughs> what one did you go for then? Sugar daddy. What for? Buy my them? sugar mummy. Oh, well, you know. No, I'm not that good with hot sauce, so I'll let you stick to the hot sauce and I will get a cute t shirt. A sticker. A sticker? What's the name of that brand? Let's give them a little shout I out. I don't know. Dark Fire Hot Sauce. Dark Fire, yeah. Fucking me. Cool. We just taste tested some vegan chocolate and oh my god. It wasn't chocolate. It wasn't chocolate, no, it was made it was. of something called car caro? Caro, caro something. Caro something. It was so good. They had mint flavour, orange flavour, salted caramel, coconut. Did you try the coconut one? Yeah. How was that? Good. I had the mint, the mint was my favourite. I had the mint and the orange. Which there's a tiny train. <laughs> Uh, okay. It just beeped. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the rock out is, but it looks very suspicious. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? It's kind of creepy, yeah. yeah. There's so many dogs. There's so, so many. many doggies. Oh my gosh. I love the energy of people here. They're just so like eccentric. Yeah, they're yeah, very eccentric and excited just to sort of be alive, I guess. Go on then. Woo! Eight sixty nine. We have finished our exploring adventures. We're not, we didn't finish. We didn't well, see every shop. For right now, there were so many stalls, like crazy amount of stalls. Um, and yeah, we got a bit hot and we ran out of alcohol. So, you know, we come top back up, to the tent top to top up. We're a bit bored of like vegan chicken and chips and yeah. burger or hot dog or, you know, just your sort of standard meal that you get fast when you're food. out. Yeah, it's kind of fast food-ish, I guess. Like, don't get me wrong, it's banging. We love it, but, but we've had it many times. We have. I want so, yeah, whilst we're here, we're going to mix it up. We're going to stir the pot. We're going to have vegan mac and cheese. I... Stank face. <laughs> <laughs> it is extremely sunny right now, so I can't actually see what I'm vlogging. But we have just been chilling at our camp. I am drunk. Thank you. Getting a little bit tipsy. Is that someone's tent? It's so thin. How could they lay down? I don't know. I know. I Was know. it a shower? No. No? They're a bat. They're a bat. They're a vampire. Sorted it. We found out. <laughs> yeah. We are ready for the evening. We are heading out back into a vegan camp out. I'm walking funny because I need to piss so bad. Well, yeah, you've been holding it, haven't you? Yeah. I'm really in pain. You're just a silly little guy, aren't you? I'm just a little, little fucking little short king. <laughs> short king. No, what is it? There's no short kings, there's only vegan... Men. Men. That doesn't even make That's sense. That's not what the saying is. <laughs> we are back in the food section. We're back, baby. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue our adventures around the food stores and see what we can find for dinner. I feel like we're entering the dessert and sweet mm. section of the event. There is pastries, churros, donuts, ice cream. Oh my God. This place that we are stopped at right now serves cactus. Crispy. Crispy battered. Crispy battered cactus. I wonder what that tastes like. It's only five pounds, so I feel like we're gonna get it. We should try should we get it, it now. Normally, we get at most three choices wherever we go. Mm. We can eat everything. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's, so good. it's a bit annoying because we don't know what to choose. Yeah, it's like we've got chose, too much choice. We're chosen cactus. First bite of a cactus. I hope it doesn't spike you. I assume they picked all the spikes off. What's it like? I'm so curious to know. It's good. 
Yeah. Yeah. It's like a nice texture. It's clearly very unhealthy. <laughs> unhealthy? Can yeah. I see inside of it? Like, what it's, it a, like? you can, it's just a sliver of cactus. A sliver of cactus battered. It's so, like, seriously, you'll take a bite and go, yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah? It's like wet, wet with uh, oil. <laughs> I think it's spicy mayo on top. It's not it? that spicy. Okay. It's weird. It's unlike anything I've had before. Well, you've not had cactus have a before, inside. brother. It's what? literally just like a cactus leaf. Is it a leaf? I think so. Do you see what I mean, where it's clearly well unhealthy? Mm. It's eight o'clock. Look at this for eight o'clock. Come on now. Eight Golden o'clock. hour. Golden Ooh. hour. In England as well. Raucous. <laughs> Someone's getting ready. Come on, let's finish our drinks at absolutely black out. <laughs> we are moment. heading to a stage because it's time for an important announcement. We, we don't know what this announcement's going to be. What do, what do we reckon? Shall we debate? I actually haven't got... I couldn't even guess. Like... Is there going to be like a special guest? The festival's cancelled, everyone's home. <laughs> the festival goes on for another day. Like, <laughs> you all lose another day of work. Like, I don't know, I don't know what it could be. Oh no, we have to stay at a lot festival. I need the toilet. <laughs> okay, wee wee time. <laughs> ah, everybody is heading into the announcement. We have to announce that Vegan Camp Out is no more. As you know it. Our new venue is going to be at Bygrave Woods, which is held on the last weekend of August, and is another venue with no shoots in Orhampton on site, and once again has lots of trees and isn't windy. So their announcement was basically they are moving venues. Closer to us. Yes, it's going to be lovely. in Hertfordshire next year. Yeah. They also are going to be having a forest stage. 2000 which is trees, really huh? Really similar to 2000 trees. I feel like they've got their inspo from that. Good idea. I'm a sucker for a good sunset. It's literally, the, and some... there's been lovely sunsets here, that's for sure. I don't know how to explain it. It's probably from something in my childhood. From going to download probably when I was little. But seeing a crowd of tents and music mm. and the warmth and the sun and just everything lovely just makes me bloody well happy. <laughs> Outfit change. As of right now, P Money is on the stage. Let's That's his go, name, isn't it? Yeah. Um so yeah, we're gonna go and check him out, see what he's all about. And yeah, have a little boogie. <laughs> oh baby. Crispy onions. Yeah. And what is that so this is the crispy onions. What's this stuff? That's a cabbage, sorry. <laughs> And that yeah, that's is cabbage, just and that's just that's just rocket. Do you want any? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> okay, go on. Love it. Good, banging, amazing. All the words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have just woken up and got dressed and we are heading out to find some breakfast. Oh, fucking breakfast. Yes, I think we're going to use our little freebie token that we got yesterday and get some vossages and a portion of hash browns. Is um very very herby. It's nice, but it's a bit like ooh, takes you back a bit, you know. Ooh. Vegan omelette on there. Back at ten. I got one with bacon. Well, fake bacon, obviously. <laughs> and uh, 
omelette. That's what the thick yellow is. And uh, that tastes a bit play doughy. So. Play doughy? Mmm, do you want to try a little bit? No, as a kid, I did love the smell of play dough. I thought you were going to say taste. Not the taste, I, I didn't eat it. Sometimes I <laughs> chew on blue tack. Did you ever do that and pretend it was chewing gum? Okay, so. <laughs> no, you've told me that you've done that before. <laughs> it's nice, but there's just a lot going on. Yeah, there's a bit too much. On second thoughts. No. It's nice, but as you chew it, there's so many herbs. I guess this stand loves the herbs because their hash browns were covered in herbs. I do think that out of all of the vegan alternatives, oh, a little bit of a flash there. Out of all of the vegan alternatives to literally everything, I feel like egg. Yeah. is the hardest to replicate that's just my I opinion think just anyway don't bother. yeah because like meat you can use proteins and mushrooms yeah. and stuff but cheese is like uh, not cheese sorry egg it's a weird one isn't it i think i'm hung over you know there is no, no way that you're hung over i think i am i might do a uh teenage barry at a festival and uh, I might start drinking at like half 11 maybe. Remind me of the good old days before back pain and uh, eczema around the eyes. I have to have a little look in our schedule book, see what's going on. I think we're gonna go and do a little bit of shopping around the shops that we went to yesterday, pick up some art prints, maybe a little badge, maybe a tea towel, I don't know, something cute. Tonight, Chris Packham is giving a talk. The guy from Country File, is it Country File? Autumn Watch, don't know. Might be quite interesting. Um, Gaz Oakley, who's that? Yeah, I wanna see it, he's a chef. A chef, yeah, okay. he's got cookbooks and stuff. <clears throat> Dog friendly yoga. Dog friendly yoga, that's <laughs> so cute. Oh look, speed dating later. Shall we go to that and see how weird it is? Dating. I suppose if you're looking for someone else who's vegan, yeah, true. it might be <laughs> handy, I guess. I wasn't really too much of a fan of that breakfast, I'm not going to lie, I'm quite hungry. So we're going to go and get a pastry, maybe a coffee, if we can. That queue for the coffee stand was nuts. It was the longest queue at a festival stand I think I've ever seen. And grab a little bite to eat and head out to do some shopping. For oh. those of you who don't know, oh, sorry. this is our clothing brand, Broken Spirit Apparel. Yeah, boy. So if you like it, I'm, I've got a crop top on. The that script. was a t-shirt, but yeah, you cut I, it into I, a I vest. I can't wear shirts because I overheat. My body doesn't regulate your heat properly. <laughs> Help me. The queue for the coffee stand is still huge. So like three hours what are we gonna later. do? Literally. Maybe we'll have to miss a coffee today. Or we just get one at like six. I got this lovely little, what did she say it was? The end of the B. It's a brioche style pastry bun thing with chocolate in it. And it's banging. I love this. This is exactly what I needed this morning. I got a little macaroon. Little macaroon. It's a pistachio one, isn't it? Yeah, boy. Nice. I've never had a macaroon before. Well, here you go. Losing your macaroon virginity. Well, um, that's a look of concern on your face. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Odd texture. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like crunchy. No. Good. Good? Yeah. Mm. Just not what I thought it was. Yeah. Caught in the act. I was just going to say that. Ah, 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 ah. I'm a happy girl. Gal. Does it look like I'm smiling? I feel so chill right now. So this is Earthling Ed's clothing brand. And idea. it's called, yeah, it's called I Don't Eat Animals, or Idea, for sure. Which I thought was quite clever. Ellie went, oh, clever that. Pretty clever. <laughs> Really oh, thick, nice quality. Yes. That's what we like. Touch it, touch it. Touch it. Oh, that is soft as well. 
it's got lots of different animals on it. It's even got an axolotl. Remember to be kind to the axolotls. Axolotls well, we'll deserve love too. We'll Look what we got, boy. Should we do a little haul? Yeah, go on. Alright. Firstly, I've got a patch. Patch for your patchwork jacket. For my patch jacket. And then, we've got this very cool art print. Kind of like a tattoo flash shape, yeah. but with cute little cows and asparagus. Quarter to one. And I said I was going to drink at half eleven. I've still not drank nothing. It's about to change, isn't it? Look at that, look at that, let's go. Oh, I need a Rennie. Oh, that's right, this shot of alcohol and two-day-old real monster will do. Yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers. So, uh, oh, kettle's boiling. I just forgot to say that the artist of this cool vegan, like, flashy is Poppy F. Ash. She's got her at here i assume that's instagram so yeah she likes pigeons so no do you else. i love bloody pigeons pigeons are bloody good aren't they cocktail time baby so he got a rum punch and i got a again it's the panther milk brand um which is oat milk and it's a cream flavor which is what did she say vanilla, vanilla and caramel, and caramel. okay Ish. Right, cheers, my oh, dears. Have you already tried bit, it? Yeah, okay. Pretty strong. God, the initial fucking punch of that is punchy. Is it good? Okay, yeah. Let's try a bit. <laughs> fucking hell. Well, it's very strong. Is There's that... no doubt about that. So, as we sit here, we've got a couple of funny stories that we wanted to say. Um, one happened last night. So, I am currently making a montage of all the cute dogs that we see around here. And these two really fluffy dogs came up to us. And it was pitch black. It was like the night time, right? So, I go to film these dogs, and the flash goes off. So you look like a creep. So I, I just look like a weirdo. <laughs> really close to the dogs just with a flash on yeah, their I, eyes. I, it wasn't in their eyes. It, they luckily were turned away. So I didn't blind them. But Barry was drunk and he starts talking to the owner. And he's like, yeah, we've been filming all the dogs we've seen. <laughs> and I'm just standing there cringing. Because now it's obvious that I just filmed this guy's well, dogs. Well, I didn't know that you... I didn't know that this happened. And then you turn to me and you're like... Ellie, did you film his dogs? <laughs> and I'm like, I did, I did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. Thanks, Barry. Thanks for that. The second story just happened as we were ordering these cocktails. We were at this bar and I pointed out to Barry that they sold grapefruit juice. And I was like, oh, that might be good for the morning. And Barry was like, yeah, that helps with STIs, doesn't it? And I'm like, huh? No, that's cranberry juice that helps with UTIs. <laughs> Just in front of the bar, mate. You get it. <laughs> this is the open mic, right? Isn't it? I am. Um, I think it's time to try out one of these fairground rides, and our ride of choice is the waltzers. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> no. Oh I'm god. Gonna be sick. You're actually gonna be <laughs> gonna fall off. I think that might have been a bad idea for Barry. <laughs> so for lunchtime today we have got three lovely crispy vegetable samosas and a curry. A fake chicken tikka masala. And I got a mixed, so I got a tofu tikka masala in there as well. Mm. Obviously just with rice, but look at that shit. Amazing. A bit of the tofu. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm, yeah. It's very, 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 very good. My curry I made the other day. Yeah. It's not as good as that. <laughs> well, you know, you've got the cooking skills. I know. Oh my gosh. That is like the perfect amount of spice for me because mm. I'm not very good with spice 
but that's just like the most amazing amount. It's super tomato-y. What's a tikka masala normally like? Because I'm don't not know. really that familiar. Okay, oh, that's great. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's dig in. Good? No, lovely. Are you ready? Are you guys ready for the taste test? Of all taste tests. Oh my goodness. So good, yeah. The thing about vegan camp out is the vegans. <laughs> Bloody vegans. Bloody bastards. Okay, here we go. Let me try it. <laughs> That, you know, because I won cornhole yesterday. What about today, though? Well, you only won by a smidge. A smidgen? I won by a mile. So, you know. The overall winner... Who's Barry Robin? Is this Gowrani? We like to drink with Barry, because Barry is our mate. And when we drink with Barry, he gets it down. Yes, thank you very much. You want to go on the waltzers? <laughs> oh my god. What? That fucking tab. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't even realise. We are heading back out now. It's quite windy, but we are going to Gaz Oakley. His chef. talk thingy my bob. He's a vegan chef. Yeah. He's got a few got a few cookbooks. A few cookbooks, right, fair enough. Also, very good looking boy, if mm. I might say so. So if he if he's out there. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing him. No, you're not. Gaz Oakley, here we come. Yeah, the fingers I've got my the finger legs. over the letter. You drunk fool. YouTuber, etc. <laughs> so we're going to have a little chat. We're just going to get crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Who follows Gaz on YouTube? Yeah. 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 I'm so proud of the food that I grow. I actually bought three of my favorite tomatoes that I've grown in this bag, and I'm gonna give them out to the people that ask me the best questions, so. Has Oakley just done a little talk. We watched him yap on stage. Yap. <laughs> and- um, He just went on and on. He said, actually said some like, pretty interesting, thought-provoking things said about growing his own food, growing tomatoes, and he said something like, it's not all about the growing, it's about the cooking as well. And it reminded me of us. Yeah, me Because too. we Literally. both cook dinner every night. We make it a little thing for yeah. both of us. We come together in the kitchen and we cook dinner. We've made friends with our neighbours now. Yeah, they're actually lovely. And they're lovely. Yeah. Lovely people, very funny, very lovely, very friendly. And that's what we like at festivals. That looks nuts. It does, though. it looks- That doesn't look real. What the fuck? That looks- I just stared at the sun. Anyway, we are going to go and see Chris Packham's talk and then oh, get hello. a bit of dinner. Yeah, boys. Be mostly vegans, there might be vegetarians here. Who knows? There might still be some omnivores hovering on the brink. And if they've tasted any of the food here today, they won't be hovering for long. Spencer's initially put a time spell for transition and then came back to us and said, we're not going to wait, we're going to do it straight away. We are more powerful. We are back at the camp and Chris Packham's Chris talk. Chris Packett, yes. Yeah. What a guy. I mean... What a packet of walkers. He did touch on a few topics during his talk that actually made me quite emotional, like how people don't choose compassion or kindness. These big fossil fuel companies like BP and Shell work with the government and... Well, they work with government, they work with uh, banks. Banks, Barclays. I mean, Especially. there's a reason that lots and lots of bands pulled out of download this year because Barclays was a sponsor and they contribute to a lot of 
fossil fuels and the war and you know you all that stuff and then you guys probably already know this but he's pulled out themselves which was pretty yeah. fucking good okay we're heading out we're going to the party it's a saturday night he's got our light and i'm freestyling i i've got the hiccups <laughs> It's so crispy. There we go, boy. It's good, isn't it? Oh. It's so crispy, but it's that's mm. incredible. Good morning, vlog. It is now the last day. <clears throat> My voice is croaky. We are going to get some lovely food in a moment. I think we're planning on going to the Philly cheese steak. That's right, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the stand and um, <clears throat> getting some like cheese toasty kind of stuff. I'm intrigued to know what Look kind that. of cheese this is. Yeah, banging. Brilliant. Right, taste test time. Really nice in the middle. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what cheese is. Is it sticky? No. Because some it's, vegan cheese is like really sticky. It's and almost like the cream cheese. Mm. You can definitely taste like the toast is grilled, mm. isn't it? It's Not better. just put in a toaster. It's the tiniest bit oily. I think that makes it nice. <laughs> Okie dokie. We got a juice drink. Hawaiian sunshine drink. It's got all like tropical fruits in. That was needed. Oh my gosh, that's nice. So looking at this cup, I just noticed that it says it's compostable. It also says packaging made from plants. We love a um, compostable plastic alternative, don't we? I love it. We are heading back out again now that we have had a wash and feel a bit more human. I want to see this band. Okay. Don't know who they are, but it's a band, isn't it? Yeah, they sound good. That band were actually really decent. They had a tiny little mosh pit and then it just grew and grew and then a massive sheep turned up. <laughs> hey Barry, I think you should uh, get on your skateboard and go on that ramp. Got it. Yes. I can't land it. Well done. You're so close. Oh, <laughs> raucous. Betty. We have decided to get a little tattoo. I feel it. I got a cute little heart with a leaf. Cute little business card by Ashley Luca in Birmingham. And her Instagram is there. So yeah. Cute. Oh my God. Look at all of this. Do you want to get this? Yeah. That's so fucked. 
<laughs> that is like actually insane. It's a weird texture, this. Is that the jellied coconut? Probably. Yeah, it is, it must be. Jellied coconut on top. A little bit Hermes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love your reactions. I don't even know where to start here. Yeah, I don't know how to eat this. <laughs> it all fell into your hand. Point is, it tastes good. <laughs> Just me and my coconut chilling. You and your coconut? We're here having a good time. Oh, sick. It's so well good. good. So whilst Barry is in there getting tattooed, I've just been watching some people do some uh, martial arts stuff. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but it looked quite fun. I was chilling on my own. This is why I've been so long. Right. The words were, oh, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> so. So you've done it? He just completely finished it. Oh, sick. <laughs> Chocolate bars. I love a bit of chocolate meat, so I'm excited to uh, eat this back at the camp. This um, raspberry and honeycomb bar isn't as strongly flavoured as the mint one. Still really nice though, but the mint one. I've had a quick change of outfit because I was too hot, and we have actually decided to go home this evening instead of tomorrow morning. Sad times, guys. I ran out of tiramisu. Bastards. This ice cream is made of nuts. Apparently. Well, we we got home, cheesecake flavour. I mean, I mean, <laughs> Camp out's a wonderful experience for many reasons, but it brings us together and gives us a sense of optimism and shows us a community of people that we will maybe never meet again, or at least not everyone. We remind ourselves of, of what it is that we're a part of. Set. We just saw Earthling Ed do his talk and he was really good. He um, is a very talented public speaker. It is about seven o'clock in the evening now and we are heading home. What did you think of vegan camp out then, Barry? It was relaxing. Spent a lot of money on food. Yeah, but it was worth it. Yeah. It was the most chill, laid back respectful, friendly festival we've been to yet. Goodbye vegan camp out. Fourth festival of the year and it's been a good one. Vegan camp out is officially complete. I would definitely recommend the event to someone who's obviously plant-based or people who are just curious about a vegan or vegetarian diet. I think it would be a really cool place to start. Like I mentioned before, it was a really chill festival and we both had such a lovely time there. I really did love it a lot. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm still quite new to YouTube, so any support would be really greatly appreciated. Please consider liking and subscribing for more concert and festival vlogs in the future.